I'm so happy that we got married and had a baby. Yes, Leah, so am I. I'm so glad that I found you. We can just have our, our little family. Some friends over. Oh, that was, there was a knock at the door. Who could that be? I'll get it. Who are you? I'm, I'm from uh, the census. I just have a few questions for you. Um, government would like some information uh, just to, you know, provide better services and stuff. Uh, well, yes, well, first of all, how many uh, people live in this house? Well, there's me and uh, my husband, Lou. And there's uh, our friend, Han Solo. He's staying with us uh, until he finds a place. And we've got um, Chewbacca. I I'm not sure if you classify him as a family member or a pet. Um, and we've got little Hello. baby Jimmy here. And uh, what, what is the income for this household? Oh, um, I guess uh, if you put together my uh, maternity leave and Luke's unemployment and um, Han Solo's welfare, um, I guess you could say maybe $30,000. Okay, well, what is the highest level of education achieved by uh, any member of this household? Oh, well, I went to, the, uh, I went to Princeton College. You know, my husband Luke went to flight school. Uh, Han Solo will. You, you didn't. You didn't uh, finish high school, did you, Han? Uh, no, I. I didn't actually. Well, all right then. I guess you uh, haven't been to college. That would be the highest level of education. And how many children do you have? Oh, just little Jimmy here. Uh, and uh, this is for gov very important government statistics. We need to know uh, for health services. Your 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 child is of course up to date on his vaccinations. Uh, well, no, we haven't actually vaccinated him. We decided not to. Okay, well, thank you. That's... Oops, sorry for throwing you off the couch there. Uh, okay, well, thank you. We're, we're going to be going. Well, they were nice enough. They sure were. Who could that be, Luke? Um, I don't know. Who's that? Oh, hi. Um, I'm from the Department of Health Services. Um, just uh, offering a uh, friendly uh, home visit to the new mother and her baby. Um, hi, how's your baby doing? Oh, he's good, he's good. So is he sleeping through the night? Oh yeah, he's just fine. Uh, not too colicky? No, 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 he's fine. And he's up to date on his vaccinations. Uh, um, actually, we decided um, we're not going to vaccinate him. No, we, we decided not to vaccinate him. Oh, you haven't vaccinated your child, but um, you, you do know that um, uh, vaccination is the best protection against disease, and uh, especially influenza. He could, he could get the flu, or he could come down with um, tetanus. Well, I, I thought that um, tetanus was something you got if you stepped on, you know, rusty nail and got contaminated with tetanus spores. Oh, tetanus is a very dangerous disease, and you shouldn't take any chances. Well, well, we figure he's pretty much in a low risk group. And diphtheria, he could get diphtheria. Well, I thought that, you know, basically you don't have diphtheria in America anymore. Well, do you, do you realize that um, although the risk may be low for you, you may be putting other children at risk by not vaccinating your child? Um, is that um, kind of a collectivist sort of thinking? And, uh, well, uh, do you want to be responsible for starting an epidemic of diphtheria? Are you, you trying to guilt trip me here or something? I, I really, I don't think it's my responsibility to, 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 to worry about, you know, um, you know, inject my son with poison to supposedly protect other children. And besides, if those kids are vaccinated. Um, they should they should be protected. I should really just you know not be putting anyone at risk but my son. Well, you know there are some children who have cancer or immune disorders who are not able to be vaccinated. So if you um, don't vaccinate your kid, you're putting them at risk. Okay, well thanks. I'll I'll keep that in mind. I guess you should you should, you, you could go now. Thank you. Thank you for your visit. Bye for um, pee. You know I I'm gonna have to um I'll have to make a note of that. Um. All right. Bye. Okay. Well, what was that all about? Trying to manipulate me and guilt trip me into vaccinating our child? Oh, well, I don't want my kid to have uh, autoimmune disease from injecting foreign animal proteins or neurological damage from injecting neurotoxic metals. Good heavens, no! We've done nothing but exchange epidemics of 
childhood diseases for epidemics of chronic disease. We made the right decision, honey. Don't you worry about it. Oh, Luke, there's someone at the door again. Who are you? I am from the Department of Homeland Security. What do you want with me? We understand there is an unvaccinated child on the premises. <gasps> you mean my son? Little Jimmy? He poses a threat to society, Luke. <gasps> Luke! Who are all these people? Um, honey, it's, it's, uh, Homeland Security. What do they want with us? They say it's about little Jimmy. You have an unvaccinated child in the house. He poses a threat to national security. We have come for the child. No, no, you can't have my baby. Never. I won't let you take him. Call for reinforcements. Honey, what's that noise on the roof? It's the JTTF, Joint Terrorism Task Force. We've been deployed. There's a terrorist incident going on. We were told that you are harboring chemical and biological weapons on the premises. You're posing a threat to national security. Um, actually... We don't have any chemical and biological weapons. Your child may be infected. He poses a threat to national security. Give up the child now. No, no! You can't have my baby! Of course we can. We're the government. No, as a matter of fact, you can't. Because, you know what? What? He's unregistered. What? You didn't register your child with the state? That's right, we didn't. Uh, don't you want social security? We know what social security is all about. It's about slavery. It's about turning your children into perpetual debt slaves and property of the state. Commander, we have an unregistered child on the property. He's unregistered and un unvaccinated. He poses a threat to national security. What do we do? We must let the child go. We have no jurisdiction over the unregistered child. Did you hear that, Bozo? You have no jurisdiction over him. Well, i never seen anything like this in all my years. Come on, men. We're out of here. Oh, honey, I'm so glad that they didn't take our child. Yes, Leah, so am I. Our precious Jimmy will remain with us. Oh, you know, Luke, when you first told me not to register him, I thought you were crazy. But now I'm so glad I listened to you. I'm so glad you did, too. I'm so glad that you did not buy into the fear and think that Social Security was going to give you security. It only makes you a slave.